Hey everyone, Justin from JustAsGood.com here, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you to get that popular cutout text effect. So a lot of times when you see this, it might already be a preset font, but after this tutorial, you'll know how to cut any font out of any shape. So first, grab your shape. I'm going to go ahead and use my rectangle tool here to make a rectangle of my desired size across the middle of the image. Now Photoshop will open up the shape properties panel and here I can make my shape white and Photoshop is trying to add a dotted outline but I don't want that so I'm going to go ahead to the outline color and select nothing transparent. So I'm going to go ahead and close my properties window and now I have my rectangle in place. If I actually just grab my move tool and wiggle it around a bit Photoshop will give me guidelines when it's exactly in the middle because I want it in the middle. Next, we're going to grab our text tool and choosing the font and the size that we want, we're going to go ahead and write out our word. And that's one key mistake you don't want to do, what I just did, is click on the shape because now it's going to try to type within a text box and that's not what we want. So actually, good thing I made that mistake, you don't want to type in the text box. You want to start your new shape layer outside of the bounds of anything. So I'll click outside here and then I'll type my word. All right, I'm just using the color black so it stands out, but it doesn't really matter. Just think of this layer as our guideline or stencil. We don't need it afterwards. So once I have my word typed out, I can go ahead and use the move tool again and place it. And of course you can change the size and the tracking and whatnot in the character panel, but I like how it is like that. So now that I have it placed, all I'm gonna do is hold the command key on my keyboard, and if you're on a Windows PC, I think it's control, and then just click on the text layer here. Click on the actual T. And then you'll see Photoshop will just select everything on that layer, which is the exact word that we cut out. Now you wanna highlight the shape layer you just made, and then with that selection still up, go ahead and go to Layer, Layer Mask, Hide Selection. Now we can go ahead and hide our text layer or delete it. We don't need it anymore, but we've went ahead and kind of cut it out of that shape. And now we can, even if we move the shape anywhere we want, the word still stays there. So that's how to do that popular effect that you might see often to get that see-through shape or block uh, effect. And of course, you're not limited to just text or words. You can cut out shapes or custom patterns out of anything in the background with this technique. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Check my channel for more and definitely subscribe to stay tuned for future videos. I'll see you guys next time.